It's a pleasure to be here um, today uh, at the University of uh, Fiji again to launch uh, another milestone project of the university. As the Minister of Education, Heritage and Arts, it's always a pleasure for me to uh, uh, visit universities, um, which is a important important and a uh, integral component of our education system and see how universities innovate themselves to uh, deliver onto the vision of our government to take education to every child in this country. Ladies and gentlemen, since its establishment, the University of Fiji has steadily grown to create a special place among tertiary institutions in Fiji. The attraction of increased students to the University of Fiji every year and its flagship medical program speaks volumes of the level of confidence and trust that people have in this institution. Often people do not publicly acknowledge the University of Fiji's contribution to break the monopoly of tertiary education in Fiji. I must say, that had it not been the entry of University of Fiji into the tertiary sector in Fiji, tertiary education would have remained the domain of the only regional institution in Fiji, University of the South Pacific. In those days, I was at the University of the South Pacific. I do recall clearly how uh, parents and children used to struggle to find a place at the University of the South Pacific, how they were treated, how they were not given programs of their choice and pushed into programs which had low numbers and probably did not meet their aptitude or interest. It was the entry of the University of Fiji and the Arya Pratiti Sabha members who broke that monopoly and provided the first platform for choice for tertiary education amongst the tertiary education seekers. Thank you for that. Ladies and gentlemen, the collaboration and partnership of educational institutions with private sector organizations, Fiji, has been absent. If you look at universities throughout the world, you have a different kinds of partnership between universities and the corporate sector. Endowments, chairs of different programs, chair in finance, chair in uh, medicine, chair in transport sector, etc. Private sector or corporate sector would fund special projects which will interest them and all and will be for national interest as well. But this has been pretty much absent in Fiji and the region as well. I do know University of Papua New Guinea pretty well and as well as National University of Samoa. Corporate sectors present and support to the universities has been pretty much absent in the entire Pacific region. This project will raise the importance of partnership between the university and corporate sector, as well as attract other corporate sectors, do some soul searching to see how they could come back and contribute to universities who have been providing the cadre of skilled qualified workforce for their advancement. So I want to thank not only the university, but particularly Classic Buses Limited for taking this bold step by coming forward and publicly 
going in partnership with the University of Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, this project will certainly benefit the University of Fiji. But I see this project helping us, government, deliver its vision for education. We are trying our best to raise interest among children for test education, both technical as well as higher education. The visibility of this marketing on the wheels approach the university have taken will have a significant, maybe small, but significant difference amongst the thinking of the rank and file. Not only the students, but those behind the students who make a difference in terms of students' interest or children's interest. So I see this project having a big impact in our government's vision and government's quest to increase penetration of tertiary education in Fiji. As alluded to by the Vice Chancellor, tertiary institutions play a very important and critical role in advancement of any country in society. This is the place where knowledge is created. The existing body of knowledge is questioned. This is the place where curiosity, curious minds are developed. And without having curious minds, you will not have people pushing the frontier, people questioning the existing body of knowledge. And then, in the absence of that, you will have societies, industries, firms remaining stagnant. If they are stagnant, the economy will be stagnant, and we will not have countries growing. So ladies and gentlemen, it is the cadre of a small group of students of the total that the university produces, the right-hand side of the distribution. They are the ones who will push the frontier. And these are the ones which are produced out of universities, special institutions. So this project will attract students by creating awareness, some may decide to go to other universities. But the mere fact that this project, the visibility of this project, creates interest among students for test education is in itself a gain to us at the national level. And this will result in developing the curious minds which will push the frontier. I want to thank the university for assisting the government in achieving our dream to ensure that we upskill our children. We want every children in this country to get education in which they have an aptitude. We don't want to push them into a particular stream which they may not have an interest in. It is in this regard that we have also established technical college, which complements the range of programs that we provide to students. And I first understand the importance of marketing, because we have been at the forefront of marketing the technical college programs to students. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to be here today to launch and unveil the, um, the design that we have uh, in the bus. It's an uh, innovative approach. Uh, I know one other university tried it some time back, and, um, but I want to uh, uh, thank the, this university for this kind of partnership, which must come out in public and get other private sector or corporate sector people to come and assist universities in running and taking the program closer to people who may not have access. 
this, as I alluded to earlier on, there's a number of ways the members of the corporate sector can uh, partner with the universities, and I do hope that um, the vice chancellor and the registrar will uh, uh, note some of these and develop proposals and uh, provide it to the corporate sector and uh, get them to start funding uh, specific projects, or programs, or establish chairs in different programs. This award, I want to thank uh, the university, and I do hope that you will uh, continue to um, assist government in uh, providing test education to our children. Um, initially, it was thought to be the worst division, but throughout Fiji, and uh, government is ready to support the university. Thank you.